Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. On the face of it, it seems really surprising that Jesus should be describing his followers as the light of the world. Surely that was his role. But Jesus was recognising that the only way in which people would see his light would be if his followers reflected his light into their communities. It is therefore our responsibility to find the most prominent place to put our light so that as many people as possible can see Jesus. It's good that Christians spend time together. We need the strength and encouragement of worshipping and sharing fellowship. But at the same time, it's vital for us to be part of our communities in order to have opportunities to share the light of Christ. When our diaries are so full of church meetings that we have no time for anything or anyone else, something's gone desperately wrong. How then will people see this light shining from our lives? Jesus indicated that it happens as people see our good deeds. We should never be looking for people's praise and recognition for our actions, but as we simply get on with being Christians in our daily lives, the light will shine. I've seen this happening time and again through Christians getting stuck into the work of food banks, street pastoring, homeless projects, and befriending schemes, or simply being a good neighbour to those who live around them. It's important that our actions are complemented by talking about Jesus, but it's so often the actions that show that our message has credibility. We all have very different opportunities to share the light of Christ. Your unique network of relationships will enable you to bring the light to places that may not be reached by anyone else. So however minor and insignificant your good deeds might seem to be, keep them up and thank God that his light will shine through you. Now let me ask you a question. How has God enabled you to help others? Now let me pray with you. Dear Lord, help us to live in such a way that others will see your light. Well, thanks for listening. I'd love you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and some great articles as well, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.